everybody, this is Praxis, and today we are putting up the posts that I was working on yesterday. Uh, my dad is here with me, uh, River's here with me, uh, my dad's working on the corner posts. This uh, first like floor of, you know, area with decking is really starting to take shape. And what I'm working on right now are these box beams uh, that are the floor joists, just like the ones that were set underneath this deck here. There's going to be another set of them just above my head here and um, those are going to have you know the second floor on top. I've been putting them together and I bought this wood separately from the kit because the kit came with uh, 16 foot uh, long boards, 16 foot uh, two by tens, and you only need actually 12 foot two by tens. The, the, I guess they had trouble sourcing 12 foot ones and they said well just cut them down you know uh, to 12 feet so you know I cut off four feet of each of the 16s. Well I need some 16s for my greenhouse anyway uh, and I figured well what's you know why destroy these great 16s I could use them out there and then I could uh, you know just go to the store and buy 12. So I went out and I bought these 12s but these are made out of like a harder wood and I found a lot of nails have been uh, going in a little uh, crooked. I've been having a little trouble getting through it. Maybe because my arm's getting tired too. I find when my arm gets tired I tend to bend nails more. But for whatever the reason I wanted to show you guys what a technique that I use when I have a, a nail that's going in bent to kind of save it. You don't have to just pull it out and throw it out. Uh, I take a pair of vice grips and I'm putting it just above where the bend is and I'm going to straighten the nail out and then go down to the base and kind of get it straightened back out. And you might think, okay, we're done. You can hammer it in from there. And maybe, but what I find on a treble nail is I put the vice grips just underneath the, uh, the head of the nail, like the, you know, the big flat part at the end, and, and tighten them up. And then hammer it in with the vice grips on there while I pull straight up with the vice grips and I'm hammering down. It tends to make uh, nails that have been, I've been having trouble with them bending, it tends to make them, uh, you know, I'm able to get them in. So here we go. Pop it off before I indent the wood. There we go. All right. So I find this to be a pretty helpful tool whenever you're driving nails in. If you bend one, you can fix it. And then if you do that kind of uh, grabbing and pulling up while you hammer it in, you can finish it up. And then you don't end up with a bunch of junk nails you got to throw out at the end. Or if you're like me, you save them and then straighten them out later and use them for other things. Uh, that's it. Uh, tomorrow, there's going to be more site work going on. I think we're going to get our root cellar. Um, covered up. We got a huge stone that's going to be set on top is like a lintel piece. I'm excited about that. We were able to peel it off of the rock face over there. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot going on tomorrow as well. That's it. Thanks for watching.